This morning, we are celebrating record stores. Last year, Americans bought more than 49 million vinyl records. Vinyl records. Yeah. And for many collectors, it's all about those, you know, rare and limited releases. I spoke to one of the co-owners of Shake It Records, Jim Blaze, about how some rare albums you'll find tomorrow uh, for National Record Store ba Day will be coming out. All right, Jim, so Record Store Day is a big day for you guys. Um, Explain what it is and what kinds of things you can find on Record Store Day that you wouldn't any other day. Well, um, it is absolutely the biggest day, like 10 times busier literally than any pre-Christmas day. And there's different levels of it. The first level is all these limited releases. Um, but then there's also like we save up, like we'll put out like literally 500 records that day, like used pre-loved records that we have never put out before. And some people come to shop for that more than they come for the releases. And then we also try to, you know, involve the whole community. So, um, so, so a lot of restaurants will be opening up early yeah. to catch the, the customers. Like a lot of people only come, only shop on record store day. Like that's their thing. It's, it's their Christmas. Because it's, they're all limited. So they know that, you know, they can't ever get it again, or they have to go on eBay and pay crazy stupid right. prices. So this is a big day in the sense that you'll find all these limited releases. It's a neighborhood event because you'll be doing all kinds of cool things like mm -hmm. you'll have in-store performances usually, right? We have, yeah, bands at night. We have DJs in the morning. Um, and then like even little things like, like, well, Ryan Geist is gonna be here again, which is fantastic. Yeah. We have a great little company called Honey Child Pops. They sell like gourmet popsicles and they're gonna be here. You know, like little, just like, involving the whole neighborhood, which is really cool. Now let's talk about some of the things that you can only find here on Record Store Day because the, the labels put out limited releases. So let's go through, a, I know this guy so and I locally, recognize this yeah, band. like this was their like big, huge first record and it has never been on vinyl before. So it's coming out this Saturday and we're really excited about that. We've known Elliot for a really long yeah. time. That's really cool. Good people, good um, band. Buena oh. Vista, like, one you of know, my favorite records. one of the most beautiful yeah. records you'll ever, ever hear. Um, and that's coming out on Record Store Day. It's on gold vinyl. Um, Noah Kahan, who is, you know, huge right now. Um, what do we, we call him, like a pop Elliot Smith. So, uh, you know, really wonderful m melodies and kids love him. Uh, the Talking Heads, this is their first um, radio performance. They did like a live radio show in 1977. And so this is wow. uh, for the first time. The weekend doesn't get much bigger than that. He's at, you know, played in front of like 80,000 people at SoFi, and that's this record. Um, Wilco, Wilco uh, always like a big seller here. And this is a like a deluxe version of their album, The Whole Love. And then finally, um, Joe Pesci put out a, a like a novelty record. He was a crooner for a while in the early 60s I did not before notice. he um, became an actor. So, you know, these are just a few of the things. There's almost 400 records this year. So um, we're super excited and we'll have them all Saturday morning. Right. So come Saturday morning. And do note that some people line up like the night before. So some if there's something re that you really want, make sure to get here. Might have to get here a little early. Yeah. Right? But it's a super fun day. And congratulations, by the way, on 25 years. Thank you so much. Appreciate Jen. it. Appreciate all it. All right. Happy all right. record store Thanks day. A lot. 25 years for Shake It Records. And and the Joe Pesci one yeah. is just kind of an example of how like a, you don't know what you don't know. Like, I didn't know he put an album out. So you go in right. there, and that's one of the cool things flipping through that you find. You're like, oh my gosh, this would be fun to listen to. Or, like, where you know, did this come from? Yeah. Yeah. And to know that there are still artists who it's such a it's such a big deal especially if you're a huge fan of a particular artist to get the vinyl version yeah. who would have ever thought you know back when we were all loading up our very first ipods mm -hmm. we're like oh my gosh i can carry fifty thousand songs in my hand why would i ever buy a cd right. or an album or whatever again and people have a passion for those a passion for those yeah and the record store day really is super cool because they have all kinds of stuff that you can't get anywhere right, else. And that's right. part of the reason why record stores all got together with the record labels and said, let's let's do this special day because we need to have reasons for people to come into the stores and bring them into the stores. And right. like they said, it's a whole party for Shake It. You and, know, they've got DJs, they've got live music, they've got food. And record um, stores all over town will be doing right, things that are, that, are, that are very, very similar. I was gonna mention to you, so I can remember a cardboard box of, of albums that were my dad's 
that there, there were a few like, and some of them I still got in my house, but I can, against the wind, Bob Seger. Oh, yes, Bob Seger um, for sure. He, he about wore that one out. I've still got that album at my house. He had, oh gosh, it was another Seger album. Mm, the one with Hollywood Nights on See, it. See, I am terrible anyway, with anyway, album I, names. That, I would... that was another one. I can remember The Stranger, Billy Joel. Yeah. Uh, I can remember Piano Man, Billy Joel. Yeah. Like there are certain albums of my dad's, some of which I still have that that had an impact. And I can remember silly albums. Did you ever, when you were a kid, did, yes. I, like Disco Mickey Mouse? Yes. Or uh, mom, I Love Monsters or like weird stuff. My mom had one. It was a it was a Disney Halloween album yes. that they would play yes. for us. <sighs> Uh, shoot, I can't sing it. I was going to say, I, I, still, I, I, I know. mean, I was probably five, and I still I remember some of the songs. I remember my dad had Willie, he loved Willie Nelson, but he also loved, like, the Beach Boys and, and you know, kind of Jersey Boy era type stuff. So, okay, um, I can remember my big Eddie brother. Rabbit, Eddie Rabbit, Eddie oh, uh, Rabbit, Love a Rainy Night. Love a Rainy remember Night. Remember that one playing? I can remember my big brother had all the Kiss albums, oh, okay? Yeah. We had bunk beds at one point. And my job was to drop the needle on the record. And what we did... Put the needle we, on the record? We, the drum beat goes, goes like, like this. this. Um, we took the top bunk off of the, its frame. Okay. And we put, we, put, <laughs> we put that mattress like it was a wall between the frame and the bottom bed. So we stood it up. Okay. Okay. And then I would drop the needle on the record and my big brother and his buddies would kick it down and just be air guitaring so hard to kiss. Oh, I see. I Do you love know what that. I mean? Like yeah. it was the beginning of the concert because I dropped the needle on the record and then mm -hmm. whatever would kick in, rock and roll all night or whatever it was. Something different. Records, records just records different. Bring it out. There's so much fun. Yeah. And after visiting Shagan Records, we were inspired, Jen especially. So we started to theorize what what would a Bob and Jen album look like. Mm -hmm. I might have gone a little bit overboard well, let's go. on Canva to create these. Uh, so here are some albums we came up with for our ARC Cincinnati album covers if we were to create this. So which one did you like the best? So this is this is our electronic dance record called Fanny Pack. I That's my favorite. Yeah. And because that feels very 80s new wave to me. For um, Record Store Day, I would include uh, that you get certificates for burritos to put in your fanny pack like we were carrying in ours. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, coming up next, we have this one is Straight Out of Scentsy, <laughs> ARC, Parental Advisory for Shenanigans. We went pretty hardcore on that we're, one. That's, we're very hardcore. That, that, is, young, that was young Bob and Jen. By the way, that I was just going to mention, that is literally our first moment together October on television. 2001. Yeah. 2001, y'all. Oh. Yeah, it's back in the children, early days. We were and we children. Were, it's our rap phase. Yes. It's our rap phase. Uh, this one is electronic as well. This is the electric <laughs> newscasters featuring Adam. <laughs> Uh, we, were we out playing with like we Nerf archery. bows and arrows or our Nerf <laughs> archery or yes, something we like that? Yes, archery at that, that point. Is, the, the one easy part for Jen in terms of putting these album covers together was trying to find really ridiculous pictures of the two of us together. Which we, yeah. That was pretty simple. Yeah, this next one is, I think is one of my favorite. Okay. I think, yeah, I think you, it's you next like one this is, one a lot. Oh, no, the, well, I love this one too. This is not the one I thought, but that's when we did Dance Party Friday and I, I'm in the black, they're dressed as young Elvis and you're in the white as older, older Elvis. Elvis. And yeah. so this one is our cover album of Elvis songs. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, this one is one of my favorite. Sniff and grin. This is our um, <laughs> this is our uh, spoken word and song yeah. album where we just get really NPR and we. It, it everything about that screams mm -hmm. NPR, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, I really, like that really one too. does. Okay, okay so uh, let's see what do we have next. This is our Ozfest era. Uh, so anchored down <laughs> with featuring some bonus live tracks from Ozfest. We thrashed so hard. We did that. We obviously mm -hmm. had to be stitched Ozzy up. Ozzy invited us back. Yeah, it was very nice of him. I think. This is our rock phase, classic rock phase. That's us there, also from a, taken from a dance party Friday where we were celebrating Poison coming to town, I believe. Yeah, Poison and Motley Crue. I think yeah, it was when they came yeah. together. And that one features the track Talk This Way uh, news anchor version. Very good. Yeah. Very, very okay. good. That's a good one. And then um, I think the last but not least, <laughs> this is our winner. So we did a poll on Facebook to vote which one you would actually want to see. This is Twisted Cincy. We're not going to wake you anymore. Songs from Morning News Anchors Gone Rogue. And that was another screenshot of way back in the day. That was a Cinema 64. Yeah, I call that 2001, but I think that was more probably 2005. Yeah, or somewhere, like somewhere yeah. thereabouts. So that was fun. Wouldn't it be fun to do it just mm, in, a, in some alternate universe where you and I actually got to record an album? Yeah, that would oh, be fun. It would be fun. Okay. Thanks for putting those together. That was fun. Yeah. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest. You want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.